so let's just talk about the red black tree so the red black tree is one self balancing binary search tree just like the avl tree but the difference is that avl tree uses the height of the left and right sub tree to balance the tree but here the red black tree uses the node colors either red or black because the tree is balanced so if we perform insertion deletion or even if we perform the search operation all of these will be really efficient we can do all of these operations in order of log n complexity and also if we define each of these nodes each node will have pointer to the left subtree and also pointer to the right subtree and also it will contain the key or the data of the node but in case of the red black tree it will also contain the color of the node it will use the single bit to store the color either red or black so these are the properties of the red black tree first of all each node can be either red or black so here you can see each node can be either red or black and the root node will always be black so here you can see the root node is black and also no two adjacent nodes can be red so that means two red nodes cannot be directly connected and fourthly all leaf nodes should be black and they should not contain any data so here these leaf nodes all of them are black and the leaf nodes are null so they do not contain any data and the last important property is that every path from a node to its descendant null node must have same number of black node so like in example suppose you have selected this node now every path from this node to this descendant null node so here we have multiple paths to reach this descendant null node now in each path we should have the same number of black nodes so here you can see no matter which path we took we have same number of black node so these are all the properties of the red black tree thank you